Okay. So hi everybody. It's Kelly. I'm here with Shantae from Everything Curvy and Chic. Um, we're both trying to get our YouTubes together and so we were looking through stuff that we should do and we found a plus size tag. Um, so we wanted to answer some of the questions. Um, we changed some of the questions because, well what was the reason that you changed the question? I changed the questions because the first part of the, this little plus size tag was stupid to me. So I just had to add just a tad bit more questions. I feel like you're not really getting inside a plus size woman's head with just those little bit of questions so we need more so we're gonna do 20 which may seem like a lot but i think we'll be okay yes i'm gonna be fine question number one what do you classify yourself as example curvy fat thick plus size heavy apple fat as in pretty hot and tempting okay i hate fat i hate that pretty hot and tempting so that's not an option no that's not what's your answer um, fat and just plus size for me. So yeah. it's, it's like either or. I don't too much say curvy because I'm not that curvy. Um, You're curvy. We're going to get into the body shape next question. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I just tell people I'm fat. Like, I don't really care. Fat. Yeah. At the end of the day, like, I have a gut. I have a big butt. I have thighs. I have and chest. fat doesn't bother and us. Yeah, fat is not... It's, it's not, not a, a bad thing. word to me. And I mean, it is what it is. Yeah, pretty much. It is what it is. Next question. What is your body shape? Now, I'm not going to read all the body shapes, but I know mine. Mine is apple. I'm very kind of, my body goes like that. I have a belly and it just, oh. You be all right. You be all right. <laughs> but I camouflage very well. But if you was to see me just naked i would say you will see my body just go like that yeah. i'm an hourglass yes yes god the, the booty the, the booty is real the booty in the waist, the waist <laughs> and the booty ratio. i'm i'm very like go god <laughs> praise him <laughs> question number three <laughs> question number three are you comfortable and happy with your current size i would say for me i'm comfortable i have my days I think all plus women, we have our days. I'm happy, but I'm not comfortable with my current size because this past year I gained a little bit of extra weight and went all to my stomach. So, stomach and face. So, I'm comfortable, but I'm not too happy with it. But I'm not like stressing over it or anything. Yeah. Um, I'm not comfortable, and I think just as a woman not plus size not straight size mm -hmm. like just as a woman we struggle with that a lot and like when i was in high when i was in high school i had an eating disorder yeah and so for me i was never i'm like i'm comfortable with who i am but yes. at my size you know i'm chilling and i know how to dress my body at whatever size i'm at so you know it's not a problem for me but I'm always like, I should be eating a little bit better. I should yes. probably do a little bit of exercise and not eat deep fried Oreos. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, I'm comfortable, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, but you see, we're not crying. We're not ranting. And you, don't, you won't ever hear me just bust out with a rant, oh, I hate my body. Because yeah, no. I know it's, it's, it's a thing that comes and goes. Yeah. And it also is, it happens when I'm putting on certain clothes. So, like, if you see my room Monday through Friday, it's... A wreck because maybe something's not working for me that day yeah so it comes and goes yeah. question number four what is a fact thing that you do and think is funny what is a fat thing <laughs> I didn't get that I didn't understand that question what is a fat thing I, I really didn't understand that question what are, what are the options um the like options breathing is, heavy or something <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know if it's a fat thing, no. What? Breathing heavy? No. Breathing heavy. I know people who are not fat that breathe heavy. And I know people who are, in fact, that sweat. Yeah. But I do have a friend in particular that sweats. Like, a lot. What well, a fat thing that I do. All right. My super fat thing that I do, don't laugh at me, when I put stuff in the microwave, I always take it out, like, a second before. <laughs> Like a second before 
to microwave it up so because you, like I can't wait to eat my food. So that's my fat thing. I and I I can't think of I that's one question I can't answer. I can't answer it. I can't because <laughs> I don't I don't <laughs> a second before me. I always like you watching the microwave. Yes. Because I can't wait to eat my food. <laughs> that's fat. That's fat. That's, that's fat. her fat thing. I, I I'm sorry I can't give you one. Next question. Number five. What is your plus size pet peeve? Mm. Okay. You, I'm not sorry for what I'm about to say. Don't be sorry. And hashtag petty. It's about to get petty. I'm gonna be petty for a minute. Um, I hate. No, I'm not gonna say it. Hate. I dislike when I see a well, beautiful, put together woman, or just somebody, just whatever i hate to see when you're promoting self-confidence um style and then you have a big old bag in front of your stomach to me it screams like i'm not confident you're fake confident right? yes fake you're faking so that is one thing that bothers me off top like as soon as i see a picture like that it triggers me to your stomach like I'm all, I'm already looking in and I'm looking at how you stand in everything so it's like are you really confident because if it was confident you wouldn't have to put the bag in front of your stomach and if you're not confident if you're not if you think you don't look good in that particular outfit if it's showing your gut and you thinking I need to hide it you shouldn't be wearing it point blank okay yeah. I'm not gonna go in Hashtag done. Yeah, done. <laughs> <laughs> My plus size pet peeve is um, when women don't wear the proper undergarments. And for me, that's something that I'm constantly learning too. Like learning to wear Spanx. Learning to wear the right bra size, which is really important. Because it'll mm -hmm. take pounds off of you if you have the right bra size. Mm -hmm. um, that's, it's just a big pet peeve of mine because women don't understand it. It just makes you look so much better. when. And this is not even a plus size thing. This is a straight size thing too. Like, you just need to, it just looks better. It looks put together. And you you look literally like 20 pounds lighter yes. when you just have the right undergarments on. So I think that's my biggest pet peeve. Yes. And don't attack me if you see me with a bag in front of my stomach because it might some people it might be a natural thing yeah. and that's why i kind of try not to pose with bags or anything because i don't want that to hide anything but if you see it just you can call me out and say that was my pet peeve but um, i doubt you you might not see that you might not see that you might not, you might not. <laughs> i'm sorry um number six Heels or flats? Flats. 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 You won't see me in a lot of heels. Uh, if you go through my blog post, you will see my style. You will not see me in a lot of heels. If I'm in heels, they got to be comfortable. Yeah. They're comfortable. So, flats for me. I don't go over like three inches. And that's that's asking for a lot. Yeah. You know, that's three inches is kind of high. Because I and feel I, like this weight can't. That's what I'm saying. And know, also, like, the older I get, the more I'm like... I'm not trying to carry like an extra pair of shoes. I'm not, you know, I have my planner, I have my camera, I have my makeup bag, I have all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add a pair of shoes. There are a lot of like cute flat shoe options. Yes. To the, I don't need to carry flats. Exactly. So I'm, I'm team flats all the way. Mm -hmm. This is a fun question. Oh God. Number seven. When it comes to dating, what do you prefer? You go answer. <sighs> I'm a I like big dudes. I'm a ch I've been told I'm a, ch a chubby chaser. You you are? Yeah. I don't know. I like <laughs> I like bellies. I like dudes with bellies. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big belly, but you know, so like. You know it <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um. Okay. So me. For some reason, I'm attracted to slimmer guys. I don't know what it is, and it's just slimmer, dark skin. Ooh, just slim and dark skin. I'm not attracted to big guys, fit guys. It's just slim. I like, I like real, like I like tall, big football See, players. Tall and slim. I love like big dudes. Oh man. I don't know. 
I guess that's another topic if we go further. Opposite day. <laughs> um, favorite food. I love french fries. Like, french fries, I put ketchup and hot sauce on them. Maybe this is a fat thing I do, but I saw skinny people do this. Like, dip your french fries in ice cream. That is disgusting! <laughs> That's fat. That's fat. That's, that's nasty. I mean, that's nasty. Well, I saw skinny people do Embrace that. Embrace it. So maybe that's back to whatever question that was. Um, number five, I think. Was that number five? No. no. Number four. Fat number, four. number four. So I guess that's my fat thing. But I love french fries, especially with hot sauce and ketchup. Yeah. My favorite food is chicken and waffles. Every restaurant I go to that has chicken and waffles, I'm getting chicken and waffles. On my deathbed, like just put chicken and waffles in my IV. Like I can eat that. I can eat that shit all day. Okay. I'm on chicken and waffles. Fried chicken, right? Yes, fried chicken. Praise God. Maple syrup. Yes, and hot sauce <laughs> at the same time. Yes. Okay. Name one flaw. My flaw is my tummy. This thing is like, ever since I had my daughter, I had this little, you looking at me weird. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ever since I had my daughter, I have this like, people who have kids, they might relate. It's like this, not a double pouch, but it's like this little loop thing. Cause I had a C-section. So it's like this little loop thing that I can't get rid of. Even when I lost all my weight, it was still there. So it was like, oh, so my flaw is my stomach. Mine is um, my thighs. I have saddlebags like crazy. So I don't wear short skirts because of it. Like, I, I'm really self conscious about my saddlebags. Oh, Jesus. Stupid saddlebags. Okay. Favorite item of clothing? Um, I love leggings. Leggings to me is like one thing you can put on and you can just put on any, uh, any top and you can go. And you can layer with it. I love leggings. I just cleaned out my drawer and counted my leggings. I think I counted 42. That's messy. Yeah, 42 pairs of leggings. That is so messy. And at least 25 was from Forever 21. That's messy. I love leggings. <sighs> For me, it's jeans. I jeans? love. I wear jeans all the time. If I can get away with it, I will. I wear jeans to work. No, uh, because I feel like when I'm bloated, I can't butt my jeans. Well, I have jeans of different sizes. I have like a size, I have high size 16 jeans. I have size 18 jeans. I even have a pair of size 20 jeans just in case. But, you know, each Mine's each leggings. day is a different, yes. a different mood. And me. that's why I like leggings because you would, like, no matter how you feel it, those, those, like those they will work. Yeah. And you and those can be dressed up and dressed yes. down. And dressed all around. Yep. Okay. Swimsuit. One piece or two piece. I'm a two-piece girl. I don't think it really matters for me, as long as I have support. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I have two. I have like one pieces that have good support. As long as it has a halter neck, I'm good. I don't care what it looks like. I do have one pieces, but for some reason I gravitate to towards the two, two pieces. pieces. Because yeah. My eyes funky. Okay. How do you feel about the plus size community? Is it accepting? <laughs> you know, I don't. I don't think we're necessarily accepting. It's really it's a double-edged sword because we work very hard to make sure that everyone feels loved and is inclusive. But at the same time, um, there are certain body types that get a lot more love in the plus size community. Um, so like hourglass shapes get a lot of love. Yes. You know, and even some apple shapes get a lot of love. But, you know, like women who are pears and triangles and all these other things um, don't get as much love. And mm -hmm. um, they actually get criticized a lot when they do put those pictures up. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's a work in progress. I think the plus size community has come a long way. Um, but I think there's a lot more work to be done. I'm not necessarily sure we're at the point where I can say, you know, without a doubt that it's very accepting because I'm not sure that it is yet. Yes. 
I feel like we have <clears throat> plus house community accepting. It's more of so the topic. Like everybody loves the fact that the fat Kenny is acceptable now. Um but it's more so body types, not everybody type is accepted. And I feel like as far as on the outside brands are giving us more of what we want but I feel like it's a double standard it's a double standard and not everybody is agreeing nobody's going to agree across the board but we're not there yet just yeah. a little bit a couple years I think and I think it has to do with advertisement um, I think I would love to see different body types get promoted more. Yeah, I think if there were a little bit more body diversity in yes. um, ads and the model choices and all that stuff. That would help. Um, I think that would help a lot. So Brands, yeah. think about that yes. when you're picking models. Yes, that, that would help. It will help yourself st uh, sell. Yeah, it would help yourself sell. A lot more. And everybody, I get this a lot. I think I was talking to a brand and... Um, they were telling me it's more of um, fantasy what you want to see yourself as a plus size woman, but that's not always true. That's I think it's plus not size consumers. True. That's not how we work. I want to no. see what works for me right now. Yes, you know it's very it is aspirational, and I get that. And you know, fashion branding. Don't get me started. Fashion branding <laughs> is all about being aspirational, and you know, I'm seeking to have that lifestyle. But at the end of the day, I need to dress this body that I have right now. Yes. And no matter how many waist cinches I get, I'm not going to look like Ashley Graham necessarily. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to play myself mm -hmm. and try to buy something that's not going to look right on me. So anyway, think about that when, when marketing to plus size consumers. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah